Are we ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure you lay down in bed and you're all comfortable. I have a story to tell you this evening. It's about a bear, a black bear called Alex. Alex was very, very black. His coat was really shiny and he had a light brown nose. Alex was two years old and he had a problem. Alex's problem was that black bears travel alone. They actually like to be alone. They're called solitary animals. Unless there's a black bear that's a mama and she has her cubs with her, most of the time black bears are alone out there in the wilderness. When Alex was a cub, he stayed with his mum for 18 months. 18 long months until his mum told him and his brothers and sisters that they were all ready to go out there into the forest and fend for themselves. She'd been teaching them how to do that their whole lives and they were ready. It's very normal for black bears to be solitary and to be out there alone and not see another bear for a long, long time. But Alex's problem was he didn't like it. He was two years old. It had been some time where he'd been out on his own and he still hadn't got used to it. He didn't like it. Alex liked being with his mum and he liked being with his brothers and sisters. He didn't like being alone. It had been six months. Six months he'd been out in the forest in the middle of Canada. One thing he had discovered was very, very positive and he liked very much was... There was lots of maple trees in the forest where he was in Canada. And he had discovered how to tap into the tree and get out the syrup. He was an expert at it. He took a particular branch, a very, very hard branch, and he managed to knock it in and bang it into the bark of the maple tree. And then he would pull it out and slowly but surely the syrup, maple syrup, would start to run out of the tree and down onto the bark of the maple tree. It was the yummiest, bestest, super sweet maple in the entire world and Alex loved it but that's about it everything else about being alone was not fun there was many times he thought nope I need to be brave I need to do this without my mum maybe I need to go hunt or I need to go explore, or I need to build a den, or I need to do all these things, and I need to be able to do them without my mum. Just like going to school for the first time without your mum. Oh my goodness, I remember going to school for the first time without my mum, and it was very scary. And I was very sad and lonely. And I really, really missed my mum. But you know what? Once I got there, 
and I started playing with the other children and playing games and learning things and having fun and I really, really liked my teacher. I was okay. But at first, that first day when you go to school and you're really, really scared, that's just how Alex felt about not being with his mom and his brothers and sisters. And it wasn't wearing off. Poor Alex felt like that almost every day. Alex really needed some friends. If you were Alex's friend, what would you tell him about being lonely and missing his mum? How would you make Alex feel better? Sometimes, on good days, Alex would climb trees. He was an expert at climbing trees because he had very sharp claws. So he was a really good climber. And some days, when he was feeling happier, he would run. Did you know that Alex could run up to 30 miles an hour? That's very fast. You wouldn't think that a black bear could move that fast because they seem to move kind of slow and they look heavy. They can weigh up to two, three, four, five hundred pounds. That's a really big bear. But no, Alex could run and he could run fast if he wanted to. So he liked to run, and he liked to climb trees, and he liked to catch salmon. He was very good at catching salmon, and he's also very good at collecting berries. There was lots of pluses to Alex's life, but he still missed his mum. Just like when you get to that age where maybe you can go and have a sleepover at your friend's house and it's the very first time you've ever slept anywhere but in your own bed. He felt just like that. Like when you're nervous and you think, well, what if something happens and what if I need my mom? Or what if I need, what if I need, like, what if I need to go to the toilet in the middle of the night? What if they do things differently? What if I don't like what they cook? You know how you can get worried about every little thing and then before you know it, you want to go home because you miss your mom so much? That's like Alex. But you know that once you've had a sleepover, maybe more than once or twice, then it gets to be really fun and you realize nothing bad's going to happen and your mom is going to be right there to pick you up in the morning. Then you stop feeling so sad and so lonely and so worried. So you know that sleepovers can be fun, can't they? What would you tell Alex? about being lonely, about sleeping maybe somewhere different, not sleeping with his mom and his brothers. What would you tell Alex to make him feel better?
When it's summertime, Alex goes to sleep. He sleeps just like we do in the summer. But when it comes to winter time, Alex goes to sleep and he sleeps and he sleeps and he sleeps and he doesn't wake up for months and months and months. He hibernates. Sometimes that's what we feel like doing when we don't want to go to school. We want to hibernate and sleep for months and months and months and months, don't we? Can you imagine if you got to go to summer, summer school, and you were at school all summer when it was fun and the weather was nice and it was nice? And then when it got to winter, nobody went to school anymore, everybody just went to sleep like Alex. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be kind of cool. But the problem was when it got to winter and it got to settling down and getting ready to hibernate, Alex would get sad because he still missed his mum. It's nice to snuggle and cuddle and fall to sleep on mum. And if you've been sleeping in mum and dad's bed since you were tiny, and then all of a sudden you have to move to your own room and sleep in your own bed and do everything different, just like Alex, well, whew, that can be kind of scary and lonely and different because you're so used to cuddling and sleeping with your mom and having her right there, just like Alex, that being in your own room seems so far away. But I bet you know and you remember that after a while you get used to being in your own room and you actually get to like it and it's nice because you can have your own things around you and you can have your own space and you get to stretch out and be in your own bed and it actually makes you feel quite grown up and very cool and you stop being lonely and worried because you get used to it don't you that's what Alex needs to know. This is his first winter, his first hibernation without his mom and his family. What would you tell Alex about moving into his own space to make him feel better? Well, whatever you said, I think it was perfect because Alex looks like he's going to go to sleep. He found a nice cave where it's very warm and safe and secure. He's laying down just like you and he's decided he's going to give it a try and go to sleep for the winter. He closes his eyes. Turns
turns on his side and gets curled up into a nice little ball. And starts to relax. His paws, all four of them, get heavy and sleepy. The ground is soft and warm and the fur that he has is keeping him warm and cuddly. He's doing really well. He's starting to get very, very relaxed. His body gets heavy and sleepy. If he listens really closely, he can hear the wind blowing through the trees outside. And the salmon and the maple syrup and the berries are all going to keep him so that he can sleep all winter long. His back and his head, his big, big, heavy head, relaxes. His eyelids and his nose twitches just a little bit as he relaxes deeper and deeper. He's very, very sleepy, almost completely asleep, almost snoring away.